Hey there everyone, Shaw Spy here. I just want to do a very quick uh, and easy guide on how to make um, your eyes glow um, and make your V2 model appear like it's in the dark. So what you're first going to need to do is to figure out where to find all this stuff. So what you want to do is open the uh, purple cog wheel here on the left hand side of VTube Studio. And what you need to start off is, is going into the picture camera model uh, setting here. So you're just going to scroll about halfway down and you're going to see this display lighting. So I've already got it turned on dark. If I were to turn it off, this is what your model normally looks like. So I've already got a preset here. So you just turn it on and then you can adjust the brighting. So like obviously I can go zero and it looks like I'm a shadow. Um, you can adjust it as much as you need to. I'm just going to keep it a bit darker than I would normally keep it just for emphasis. So this could be useful for a wide variety of things. Like if you're playing a horror game, you want to add some ambience and be spooky. Or if you happen to, uh, you know, just have some ambient effects like glowing to your character and you just want to emphasize that you can use these settings to adjust that. If you also want to add some color and stuff to it, you can even have that. So let's say you want to do a fireside chat. I've already got a preset here, but you can kind of adjust the uh, settings here so you can add a hue to it. So I've gone to, let's go more of an orange. And what we want to do is just turn the overlay. So let's say we turn the brightness back up, turn the overlay as much as we want. So let's just say you wanted to have a little bit of a uh, orange glow because of a fire or something. So you can go ahead and add it like that. Let's go back to our darkness setting here. Uh, right down here again for emphasis. So that's all fine and good. But when you play around with these settings on your model for the very first time, you're not going to see what I'm showing you right now. It's actually going to put your whole model down. The eyes included will be dark. So to switch that, what you need to go is to the third option here with the uh, person and cogwheel. And you want to go to customize model and from there you're going to select uh customize scene lighting for art meshes right here now if you had a very very lovely rigger these will all be named um that's not to say that my rigger didn't do a great job but you're gonna have to figure out things a bit if they're just named like art mesh 29 30 etc so if you want to figure that out, and you might have just saw it as I hover over, you can actually select individual parts. And in the upper left hand corner, you're going to actually see what that part is named. So for example, this piece of my hair, this is Art Mesh 12. If I wanted to adjust the lighting on Art Mesh 12, I would just go to it and adjust it. So you can already see that a lot of these are already set to one. That means that nothing's going to change. It's going to be affected by the, uh, the lighting normally. But my eyes for my character, so if you look, uh, let's go with this one a little. So Art Mesh 31 is one of them. And I've actually found the four that include my eyes. What you want to do is to just lower them just a bit. Now, I like to put it at about 73. I think that's about perfect. That's how much it's excluded from uh, all of the settings. So once you adjust these settings, uh, and you might have multiple parts of your eyes, but mine's only got four. Adjust them to about 73 or so, and it should work. So all you have to do is once you have the setup, it's set. You never need to do another thing again, because if you go back in here and let's say you just want your V2 model to look like normal, you just hit display off and everything's perfect and normal again. So. I hope that was a easy tutorial, a little fast, quick and dirty. And if you find it helpful, please, uh, you know, feel free to give this a like. Uh, I am on uh, Twitter often and I also stream on Twitch. So if uh, any of that was helpful, check me out there or not. Just use it as a helpful resource. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic evening. Take care and whatever you are working on and in whatever you do, I hope that you keep on aspiring. Take care. Goodbye.